Hello guys, I'm back. My name is Jefferson Costa. I'm a chemical process engineer with expertise in plant design. And today I will show you how to use and set the cases studies in the Aspen High Seas. And to do that, I will share with you a system with a heat exchanger where I need to defi define the worst case for developing the process data sheet for quotation. So enough talking, let's go to the process simulation. In this process simulation, I have a natural gas pressure reduction station where my source of natural gas at high pressure is a truck. And as the time goes by, the truck loses pressure and also loses temperature. And to prevent the formation of hydrate at my pipeline, I need, I need to add a preheating before the first uh, stage of decompression. And to know the worst case, I will add the case studies available in the Aspen High Seas and evaluate which conditions I should add to my process data sheet for equipment in order that I can do the quotation. So you can see that right now my pressure is 250 bar G and it is the pressure that the truck arrives at the site and I have the mass flow because we control flow to the, the customer but the final pressure is around 40 to 45 bar G and instead of doing these changes in manual I will use the case studies so you will have this in the top menu and in the tab home so you just need to Click on that and now I will add a case study because I need to evaluate what is the worst condition for the heat exchanger in this pipeline. And once you enter the submenu, it is based on high seas V10, you click on find variables. And now I will look for my source of pressure to the system is the stream NG101. And as I want to evaluate the pressure variation, I will select pressure. And now I have my independent variable. And whereas I want to know the worst case in the heat exchanger, I will look for the UA of my heat exchanger. And what my, equi my equipment in this case is the E101. And now I will look for the overall UA that I want to know based on the pressure variation. And it is very important to me because when the gas arrives at the site, it is under super critical conditions. And as the pressure decreases, it changes its state to vapor. So I want to know how looks like the behavior of the heat exchanger in this case. And now I use the tap case study setup to enter the range of pressure that I want. So I want to start with 250 because it is the pressure that my truck arrives at the site and I want the end finishes in 45 because I am almost equalizing the pressure with the first stage of the compression. And the steps I will use, I will use to each 5 bar G. And with that, Aspen High Seas will consider 42 steps. And now I click on Run. And now it finishes and I can see the results returning to the tab and I have the results in a tab in a, in a table or I can see in the plots and for me it's more interesting to see in the plots how looks like the behavior of the heat exchanger in these conditions and you can see that the highest overall UA required to this case is around 80 Celsius degree so I will consider this point to do my process data sheet for equipment to do the quotation of heat exchange. And now I can return it to my process simulation and 
instead of using the 250, I will change it to 80 by G. And with that, I can double click on the heat exchanger and get the worksheet for taking out the information that I need to fill my FD and get the properties at this pressure and this temperature. I hope you like it and I'll see you soon in the next video.